you know, I look around and I see the photographs of loved ones lost that appeared in this park when we were here nine years ago. Those families still die a little bit every single day at the loss of their loved ones. How the hell can we justify more madness right here in our own backyard? I'm from Egypt. We're not allowed to build the uh, churches. We're not allowed to uh, have uh, uh, our voice heard. We have no freedom at all. That's why we came to United States. We came to United States to enjoy the freedom. But in the meantime, you come in here to America to slave us back to Islam, to take our freedom away. And we say enough is enough. I'm out here as a 9-11 family defending freedom and being a voice for my husband's twin that unfortunately is no longer with us. And I'll never have the joy of knowing my nieces and nephews because he never had the, the, the opportunity to be married. All he did was work hard in his life and on that day on 9-11 I could have lost my husband as well who was in the same tower on the first floor and Billy was on the 105th. And so I would say to you that this is a battle for your freedom. If you have proof for a Damascus here, this big shame for America. Big shame. And you give, uh, after you kill 4,000 people, and you give him a uh, mask gift for uh, Bin Laden, uh, the terrorists, and 19 terrorist people. And you give him a uh, center here, you give fun for mosque here. This big shame. I disagree with the mosque because I feel that, um, first off, the group building it, they're named the Cordoba, and that's after um, a place in Spain that was overtaken by, by, um, by jihadists, basically, for 700 years. that it's an affront to the memory of those that were killed on 9-11 to even be considering um, putting a, a large mosque at this site. No mosque, no way! No mosque! Ground Zero area is a memorial thing right now. 3,000 people have been killed. So that's very dangerous to build a mosque or to build something uh, presenting the, the, the Islam. I'm very concerned about the building of this mosque here in Grand Zero because it is, it is an effort on the part of the Muslims to rub our constitution in our faces and to really actually deny us of the freedoms that the constitution guarantees us. people died at and these, this is our country and yet they're gonna destroy us they're taking over and it's not right President Obama he shouldn't be taking he shouldn't be letting them do that to us he's probably Muslim work God bless America
That's our hometown. This project is offensive to American people and to our feelings. It is hurting us. And I think in the interest of uh, our prosperity and our security and peace in our society, uh, and sensitivity to our feelings. This project should stop. Unless our soldiers are falling down defending our freedom. God bless America and God bless us all. As Christians in Egypt, we have been persecuted a lot. Because Egypt, there is 80 million people that are Muslims. What is a minority there? As 20 million people that are Coptic Christians. So I've been persecuted a lot. If a man or woman is converted to be a Christian, they're going to be killed. They are not allowed to move to travel ab abroad outside the country. As Christians, we moved here to America. Why? Because we got freedom of speech. If I talk like that in Egypt, I will be killed for Muslims. Why? Because they bought price on my head. I cannot go to Egypt and talk like that. That's why I came here to America to enjoy freedom.